Shalom, shalom. I greet you from the deep south, the equator in Africa. I am in Uganda, and I have the privilege to invite you to a college of evangelism. I know Pastor Fabian Lösslein very well. He also visited us with his family in Uganda. And they have it on their hearts to train, to train people in a school of evangelism. And if you want to learn how to share the good news with other people, come to that school. And you know, that is really our calling here on earth. The Lord says in Matthew 28, 19, go ye and, there and make disciples of all nations. We have made church members, but not, not disciples. And so, uh, dear ones, we are to go and really be the mouthpieces of God. We are to be the, the, uh, the ambassadors of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. And you know the Bible says that we will be known by our fruits. When I, peep, when I ask uh, Christians sometimes, what are your fruits? They say, love, joy, peace. I say, well, that, these are beautiful fruits of the Holy Spirit. But what are your fruits? And then they don't know what to say. I say, what are the fruits of a mango tree? Mangoes. The fruits of a papaya tree? Papayas. The fruits of a jackfruit tree? Jackfruits. The fruits of a Christian? Other Christians. We are to spread the good news. We are to multiply our, our lives to bring, make, fruitful, uh, make our lives fruitful through bringing other people into a living, loving relationship with Jesus Christ, the Savior of this world. He himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father but through me. And that, that one verse made me a missionary because I said, everyone that God brings into my life, I am responsible to show them the way into heaven in order to miss hell. Because if you miss heaven, unfortunately, hell is guaranteed. And I don't want you to go to hell. I want you to go to heaven. And I want you to also bring thousands of people into a love relationship with the Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ. So please come and, uh, and let, uh, let them challenge you. You know, it, it's, a, it's a real challenge to start preaching and asking people, where will you go if you die today? I asked these two people today in Africa, and they didn't know. They said, yeah, well, we, would, we would want to go to heaven. I said, well, in this case, you're still on the way to hell because it's not that you want it. You have to come with the right permission. And Jesus Christ paid the price for us. And when we receive him, and then our sinfulness goes on him, and we receive his righteousness. And this righteousness will give us a guarantee to be able to be received in heaven as children of the King of Kings, children of the Heavenly Father, forever and ever and ever. And no eye has seen and no ear has heard. And it is in no he human heart. It didn't enter any human heart what God has prepared for those that love him. Jesus came to bring us life and life abundantly. So please, get ready yourself, but then minister and invest yourself in the lives of others. And you will see how satisfying, how, how your heart will just rejoice when you know this person today has made a choice to spend eternity in heaven because I was the midwife. I was the one that helped that person to cross over from death into life. Shalom, shalom, shalom.